and they're off for the Ryanair Chess Green One. Two miles, four and a half furlongs. Alaho immediately sent into the lead, and he's been attended by El Dorado Allen on his outside as they go over the first fence. The back marker is Fanny and Destravel all safely over the first, and now they race on towards the second of the three along this central line of fences. Alaho on the inside led El Dorado Allen over in second place. Shamblu on the inner rail is in third position. Out wide is Mellon, who's racing in fourth. Conflate in fifth and then Janadil and Fanny on as they go over fence number three and now a long run on the flat before they encounter the first of the four fences taken in the home straight. Paul Townend as Alaho, the reigning champion, out in front as he makes the downhill run. He leads by two lengths to the grey Eldorado Allen racing in second. Now there's a break of four lengths to Shan Blue in third. On his outside is Mellon in fourth. Then the Irish Gold Cup winner conflated racing in fifth. Janadil is in sixth and Fanny and Destravel is the back marker as now they head up the home straight for the first time and on now towards fence number four. Alaho comes to it, measured it beautifully, the leader all safely over towards the rear of the field. Janadil just a little low as they now race on towards the second on this line. Alaho comes to it, skips over the fifth, reaches for it, a mistake in fourth position by Mellon, who just trailed his hind legs through that fence, but not a serious error as Alaho leads them on to the race course proper and on now towards the next two fences before they set out on their final circuit. It's Alaho. Leads now by three lengths as he comes to his next fence, jumps it well. El Dorado Allen over in second, Mellon on the outside of Shan Blue, then Janadil conflated and Fanny and Destravel. This will be the final fence in the circuit's time. Alaho comes to it again, measured it well, jumping slightly away to his left in second was El Dorado Allen. As now the Ryanair field make the way up past the enclosures. It's Alaho and Paul Townend who lead the way. They've got an easy lead here. It's three lengths to El Dorado Allen in second, who in turn is going to break four lengths over Shan Blue, who races in third place. A further length and a half back to Mellon, two and a half lengths to Janadil, further length and a half to Conflated, and a length back is Fanny and Destravel, and that's putting in ten lengths off the leader, who continues to be Alaho at this fence taken slightly downhill. Again, all safely over. Alaho in a good rhythm, going now towards the water jump fence number nine. Alaho leads El Dorado Allen. They've always been the first two. Shan Blue sitting off them in third position. Then Mellon, followed by Janadil. Fanny and Destraval is now relegated, conflated to just be last. As they go now towards fence ten. This is open ditch. El Dorado Allen at the uh, second position. Took it about two lengths off Alaho. And now they make the run on towards the hill. Up now towards fence number eleven. Alaho. Low there. Didn't check his momentum. And safely over in second, El Dorado Allen in third, Chamblu. In fourth now, Janadil. In fifth, Mellon. And then conflated on the inside of Fanny and Destravel. The final open ditch is fence number 12, Alaho. By about two and a half lengths to El Dorado Allen and Chamblu. All safely over that open ditch. And now they're racing on up to the very, very top of the hill. And fence number 13, which will be the fifth from home in the 18th running of the Ryanair. Alaho led there by two and a half lengths. To El Dorado Allen over in second, Shan Blue in third, Janadil in fourth, ridden along for the first time, likewise Mellon in fifth, and then conflated on his outside, Fanny and Destravel. They take the turn, going towards the fence now, which is four out. Alaho skips over it, still with a handy lead, as now they begin to set sail down the hill in the Ryanair chase, and Paul Townend is still out in front and going well. The lead is three lengths for Alaho over El Dorado Allen in second. Shan Blue switched out wide, then Janadil conflated, now being smuggled into the race by Davy Russell, closing from a long way back. Mellon is last but one, and Fanny and Destraval is tailed off as now they begin to make the run to the bottom of the hill, and it is Alaho, the one they've all got to come and catch. It's Alaho who takes the turn into the home straight now Janadil moves into second on the outside conflated is staying on on the inside El Dorado Allen Shan Blue is next down towards the second last and Alaho still has his handy advantage it's nearly four lengths as he takes the second run home Janadil over in second down conflated when challenging for second place and down now towards the final fence Alaho is clear at the final fence now he's over safely 
He paddled his way through it, but he's clear of Jenny Lilstein on in second. El Dorado Allen is back in third. He has made every yard of the running. He will be only the second horse to win the Ryanair twice. And it is Alaho who again wins the Ryanair. Alaho maps the best. He wins in the second Janadil. In third was El Dorado Allen. And in fourth came Fanion Destreval. Yes, he's just chatting to the press about Alaho's back-to-back -back victory in the Ryanair. Yeah. And sorry, guys, to interrupt, but congratulations, Willie. Did you have your heart in your mouth at the final fence? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it doesn't get easier, but anyhow, Paul was good on the horse. The horse was good. And, you know, uh, Mrs Thompson is here uh, and uh, Richard and all the family, so it's a great day for them. It was more controlled aggression this time from Alaho compared with last year. It, it, it was, but, um, you know, I thought this year people were keeping an eye on him. They weren't going to give him, you know, an easy time up the front. But he just showed that he's able to gallop them and jump them into submission, I think. Is, you know. And Jandil ran well in second for you? Jandil ran a cracker. And uh, Mellon just, I think, just wasn't operating across the top anyhow. So I don't know where he finished after, maybe fourth or fifth. Or fifth uh, I'm not sure, actually. Yeah. So but um, uh, and were you very happy with him? Was he? Did he come in here in your mind in exactly the same way or better than last season? Alaho? I think so. We didn't have any negative uh, things about him, you know. Yeah. So it was just, um, you know, I was really just sort of worried. Wood himself and Paul just gel over the first few fences, and they were both in motion. So yeah, we're, we're very, fine. very happy. Yeah. And classical dream next. Yeah. What? As I said, the, the, the start of this race might be more important than the finish. Yes. It's, um, you know, there's three quirky horses at the start here. I don't know what the start is, whether the jockeys have asked the starter to maybe change the way the start is done, but it's just, it's going to be messy now. We're going to, I might have a word with someone myself about it. You know, to be fair to everyone, we need a fair start. We don't need false starts. We don't need, uh, you know, stuff at the start of a three mile hurdle with very free horses. You know, because false start will ruin their chance. You know, if, if, provided he doesn't get a jump on, will you be having him in more um, like Punchestown, more patiently? We'll, we'll probably ride him patiently. Yeah. Well, I'll let you go in and congratulate Alaho. Many congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much.